Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So I am just starting out the video right before Zendaya and I are ready to get out of the car. Um, we are at our like local farmers market. The last summer I actually did a video including the farmers market into a vlog. But we are back. It is open I think all year round on Wednesdays and then in the summer on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Sorry there's like a lot of people driving by and I'm just feeling awkward. Um, so it's a gorgeous day today. It's like, let's see here, about 40 degrees this morning, but it's supposed to get up to like 60, I think. So it's gonna be really nice. And I saw on Facebook that there's a new vendor here that is selling shrimp, like fresh shrimp. And so we came to get some of that and maybe just take a look around and see what else that they have. So I thought I would bring you guys with and if you're new to my channel and have not seen it before, you can kind of see what it's like. It is a super cool place and yeah, it's a lot of fun. So I thought I would just bring you guys with as we're out and about today, kind of doing our weekly like grocery run and stopping at a couple other places, stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy. up at the farmers market we headed to a couple other stores and our next stop was Target so I was taking a minute to look at some of the cute spring things they had here in the dollar spot these flower pots were so so cute and inexpensive especially for little starter pots if you're like propagating plants or something like that I didn't end up getting that much but it was fun to just kind of browse around and see what they had I just got home from all my running this morning and I started out like I was telling you guys at our farmers market that is decently close to where we live um, and then from there I went to Aldi picked up some grocery items and then I stopped at Target and grabbed a gift for a baby shower I was invited to and then from there went to Walmart and then came home so the farmers market was probably by far my longest stop but Zendaya and I had fun just kind of like going around and talking to people and I have some really cool things to show you guys that I got there so I'm gonna go ahead and get my groceries put away I just got like honestly not even that much just some basic grocery items but I will save like Target and Walmart and the farmers market things um, to show you guys in a little bit of a haul because I have some cool stuff to show you that I found and for you locals or you people who live within driving distance of the Lewisburg farmers market I have some cool stands to tell you about there so definitely want to take a second to do that in a bit So as you guys saw my grocery haul from Aldi was really tiny because I got it put away so fast But here's a couple things I got at Target. So this is all for like the baby gift It is a like a window shade roller blinds for the windows a book and then some diapers because those are always useful 
And then this over here is a couple things I picked up for me. I picked up some more hats because I had some, or I have a couple that are like black and gray, but I wanted like, this is a lighter gray. The ones I have are pretty dark and then a light blue and then a darker blue. Um, so I wanted to pick up another pack of those. So after those, then I got this neutral shirt for Zendaya. And sorry, the lighting's kind of weird. It's like a really soft purple color. I'm on the hunt for some neutral shirts for her to go with some patterned skirts that she has. So I got that. And then these were in the dollar spot. The dollar spot had so much cute stuff, but I didn't really need hardly anything, which... These I got because I'm wanting to divide some of my plants and I thought these would make such cute little planters, even like little plant gifts. So that is all I got from Target. Super small amount, which is great. All right guys, and here's the stuff I got from Walmart. And sorry, there's a lot of blue on my blue countertop and it kind of bugs me, but I can't change it. So anyways, um, I have this denim jacket. This is for Zendaya. It is 3T and I think this was like $13 so it definitely was a little bit more than what I like to pay but it's gonna go really cute as a spring jacket for her with like any dress. Church dress, casual dress, anything. So that's the reasoning behind getting that. Um, Walmart has their maternity stuff on sale and I know I'm not gonna be pregnant for much longer but I hardly have anything that fits me so I just picked up a dress that was on sale to help me get through the rest of my pregnancy with a little bit more options for clothes and then some grocery items that Aldi didn't have and then a couple more things for our little boy I needed some more socks and these I thought were so cute and will look so adorable with jeans or anything like that so this is my Walmart haul and next I will show you guys the things that I got at the um, farmers market Okay, so I got things from three different vendors or booths, whatever, there. Um, and one of the things, or, yeah, one of the places I stopped at was not a food booth. And I'll save that for last because, uh, yeah, that one was really cool. Anyways, first off, if you're within driving distance of the Lewisburg, like, farmer's market, highly recommend you take a Wednesday or Saturday and come check them out. They have some really, really cool vendors and just really cool stuff that, yeah, the vendors come in and sell, like, such a variety. Um, you can find them on Facebook. I will try, if I remember, to put the links in the description box for Facebook pages for the places I'm talking about. Um, but the first thing I got is this smoked cheese. It's Cooper Sharp smoked cheese, and we had got some of this, like, a year ago. And then I went back and I could not find a stand and the reason why is because um, I was talking to the guy today and he said it's getting too warm to smoke cheese like in the summer so he only sells smoked cheese through the winter till maybe April. But I think he has a Facebook page, I think it's called Smoking Bill, something like that. Um, he smokes so many different kind of cheese and they are so good. We've had this before and yeah, I can definitely say it's amazing. I would have liked to get more, but I just got one block for today. He also sells, um, like hot spicy mustard, which is really, really good. And then he does smoked pierogies as well. So if you guys have a chance to go there, check out his booth. It's called Smokin' Bills. And yeah, the second thing I got, which I'm not really going to pull out and show you guys, but I put a clip in or got a clip of their stuff when I was filming there, um, is I got some shrimp. So there is a new vendor there that um, sells like fresh shrimp. They get them from Georgia and you could buy them with the heads or without the heads. I bought without because I didn't feel like trying to figure out how to de-head them. It's probably really easy, but I just was like, less hassle. So I got two pounds of fresh shrimp for us to eat this week. And I think it is $15 a pound for the headless shrimp and $12 for the ones that still have their heads on. So yeah, you're definitely gonna pay for what you get, but they're fresh and they're large shrimp and they look like they are gonna be delicious. So second thing I got was the shrimp and then Give me a second and I'm going to show you guys the last thing that I got um, and talk a little bit about them because their booth is so cute. Okay, last thing I got, um, or things, is I got some shirts and I got them from a booth called Buffalo Valley Trading Post. I got their little card here, it's super cute. So they have a Facebook page, I will try to link it down below. They have the cutest like home decor like signs um, and different pe like metal, um, 
how do I describe it? Like home decor that is metal or whatever that you can hang on the wall. Like metal wall art, I guess, is a good way to describe it. They have long sleeve shirts, short sleeve shirts, and I talked to the lady. She said right now they're kind of trying to clear out like their winter inventory or stuff from last year. And so they're actually having sales right now if you can get over there and snag yourself some shirts. And they're going to be printing new designs for this upcoming summer. So let me show you the shirts that I got. And right now, which I don't know how many weeks this will last, but they're doing a sale, $10 a t-shirt or two for 18 on their inventory from last year, trying to clear that out. So if you want some cute t-shirts, go over and snag yourself some. So here's the first one I got. And it has a B on it and says kind. It's just a cute summer tee. And they are so soft, you guys. Like, it is not that, um, how, you know, some tees are like itchy and just not a nice, very nice material. These are so soft. They're unisex size. So she did say that. So yeah, they might fit a little big depending on what size you wear. Um, then on the back, they have their little logo. It says Buffalo Valley Trading Post. And then I got one more and I'm not sure I might give one of these as a gift or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. But then I got this one because this is one of my favorite colors. And it says Hope and has a heart on it. And that's like in like a gray. Um, and this one, yeah, has their little logo on the back as well. This is a long sleeve one. So anyways, that is what I got from there, the last booth. But be sure to go down and check out their Facebook page. And if you're local, go to the Lewisburg Farmer's Market and check out their booth. I know that they would love it and they have the cutest, nicest little stuff there. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I did not vlog it anymore yesterday. Um, I just did some editing in the afternoon and sewed myself a skirt. Just some like things that weren't really exciting to include in a vlog. So it's the next day and... This morning, Zendaya and I are headed out for a walk. It's like 60 degrees already this morning. It's gorgeous. So we're gonna go soak up some sunshine and then when I get home, hopefully, I will be able to tackle some laundry and I have a couple other things I wanna do that I figure we'll see if I include in the vlog or not. But that is what we're up to this morning and it is just so gorgeous out. I'm so excited to get out again and just enjoy the warmer weather. This week turned out to be the most beautiful couple of days and we were actually walking on like a rail trail that was near our house and it was just so pretty. There were birds singing and it was definitely a gorgeous day to be out to get some sunshine and Zendaya loved it and I loved it just as much. not too long ago and I'm actually getting out some lunch for us um, we are just gonna do we're just gonna do leftovers I typically try to make enough food sorry that we can um, eat leftovers the next day Zendaya and I for lunch and I don't have to worry about actually making us a lunch so we have chicken and rice from last night and we also have pizza. So between those two things, we will get a good lunch in or decent lunch in. And then she goes down for a nap and I get some time to hopefully work on some things here around the house.
Zendaya already started in on her food. Say, is it yum? But she just has rice and chicken. Oh, hey, here. Rice and chicken with some cheese on top. And then I cut her up a quarter of an apple as well. And I'll just eat the other part. So that's what she's munching on today for lunch. After lunch is Zendaya's nap time, and that is my chance to get anything done that I don't want her getting into. So I took a second to wrap the baby gift and just get that all taken care of so it was out of the way. that was done I had some cleanup that I wanted to do but I took a second to make myself an iced coffee and we have a ninja coffee pot that has an option to make an over ice brew of coffee so that's what I did here in the cup and then I added in some cocoa powder and some stevia drops as well as some milk and it tastes like an ice mocha it was really really good and just gave me something fun to drink while I worked on some cleanup in the rest of our house up and I made myself some coffee as you guys saw and yesterday if you remember I got those two little cute pots from Target I'll show them to you in a second but um I have a plant I'm wanting to try to propagate I think that's the right word so basically I want to what's the word cut off like cuttings of it stick them in ground and hope they grow <laughs> that's pretty much what's gonna happen so I have this plant and it's actually not that big, but it's been growing so fast recently. I thought I would try to start some new ones while it's like getting into springtime. So I have them for the summer. So this is a string of pearls plant, if you can see it. And these strings are getting quite long. So what I'm wanting to do, and I like looked and read a little bit about it online. So I'm hoping I can do this right. Um, as you can see, it kind of like just goes wild in there and they grow out over the sides as well. I'm wanting to cut these long strings off because I have so many new ones growing and I'm going to stick them in some soil in those cute little pots and yeah like I said hopefully they take off we'll see um but they're so cute and it's such a cute plant I absolutely love this plant so we're going to give this a try see if it works and I'll have to keep you guys updated on if it grows or if it's a complete flop.
all right so here is what they look like and i'm hoping these work because this is kind of what i did with this one when i repotted it into this white pot um the pot it was in it was dying like the ones in there were dying they weren't getting enough sun so i repotted it in here and it really took off so what i did was i cut off the really long strands and then like stripped maybe like this much or so maybe like half an inch or maybe an inch on some of them um of the pearls off and then stuck those just like stems under the ground and then i just curled the rest up on top of the ground and same with this one so we're gonna see if these take off they're such cute little pots and i'm hoping they will because this one has been growing like mad in my windowsill so i'm gonna go put them up there and hopefully in a couple weeks we'll have some pretty little plants Last thing that I want to tackle today, and the shop is right out there, so excuse the noise. I can't do anything about that. But um, is I want to go through our laundry closet. Sorry, it's getting so loud. Anyways, I just want to go through here, and it's not terribly disorganized, but it just needs fixed up a little bit. Um, wipe down the shelves. Go through like our I have our swimming bin of like swimming stuff and whatever up here. I want to go through that because it's getting close to summer, and obviously Zendaya's not in the same size. So go through her stuff, that kind of thing. And yeah, just make it look better, do a quick cleanup and maybe do a little bit of decluttering, we'll see. So that's what I'm gonna tackle and probably about the last thing that I'm gonna really tackle today, minus maybe folding some laundry and stuff. We have dinner plans tonight, so I'm not gonna be cooking supper, which is awesome. I love to cook, but I do love getting a break. So we're gonna be going out tonight. And so yeah, after this, I pretty much just I'm going to keep the house tidy, do maybe fold some laundry, maybe do a couple things that I want to get done. And then, yeah, tonight we're going to be gone. I'm going to quick get started on this and see if I can just improve it a little bit and just make it a little bit better. So for anybody who is new to my channel or who hasn't seen this, this is our laundry closet and it's fairly organized. I got all these bins from the Dollar Tree. They didn't have them in white, so hence all the blue. And I repainted this. I still have to do this part right here, but the doors need to come off to do that. Um, but yeah, this was all like that wood color with white walls and it just desperately needed a coat of paint. So now it is gray and white and so much more clean looking um but i just want to go through all these bins i have some things on the shelves i need to declutter i want to wipe down the washer and the dryer and this is my paint stuff i'm taking a break from painting until after the baby comes and so i need to find a good place to store this for at least a month or two months at least maybe more um and then down here are extra laundry baskets and i just throw miscellaneous laundry in these and then I go through it when I am doing my weekly laundry or whatever so this is kind of what it's looking like at the moment and yeah let's get started a more permanent spot for all my painting supplies I just took a damp Norwex rag and my all-purpose cleaner concentrate and went over everything to get all the dust and dirt off they get so dusty sitting here in the closet and it just was high time that I took a little bit of extra time and cleaned up my washer and dryer
I didn't do any major reorganizing here on these shelves. The bins were pretty organized and I just kind of checked them as I took them off and cleaned them to make sure that there was nothing in there that needed gotten rid of or that they weren't too messy. But then I really just wanted to wipe over all the shelving and get that a little bit cleaner than it was and just know that everything had been kind of taken off and dusted and I did go through this bin here it has all our swimming stuff in and I kind of just decluttered that one but the rest of them were really good which saved me a lot of time and was really nice Hey guys, so we just got home from dinner tonight and I did not do an ending to the vlog earlier. <laughs> Sorry, Zendaya's playing. And I wanted to, so I just thought I would do one now. I'm gonna end the vlog. I hope you guys had fun coming along with me for the past two days. It was just random stuff again, a little bit of a glimpse into what our life is like. But I hope you enjoyed it and I would love it if you could hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you are new and i will see you guys next week in my next video bye guys